morning and welcome to Just Between Us. I'm Susie and I'm from Volcano. I'm Sandy from Jackson. I'm Kathy from Buena Vista. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always from everywhere. <laughs> and I'm Martha from my own in Jackson in the beautiful foothills. There you go. There you go. I know that you like that. Ladies, let's pick our first two topics. And while we're doing can, that, I want to say can fan them out for I want to say okay. good morning to my lovely cousins, my, my Andrew down. cousins and the Second. sexiest godmother and <laughs> <Okay>. senior <laughs> citizen on earth, Margie. Okay. Oh, I got cool. it. Okay. My my godmother is the prettiest I'll take woman. The bad oh, one, beautiful, the wonderful. Bad one. I miss okay. Donna Lyons. Donna will be back soon. Donna's oh, really? a little bit under the weather. She's yeah. been traveling. She's oh. under the weather. She'll be back, and we're going to have her back. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of Great. fun. Great. Ready? <coughs> and the first topic, please. Changes. Number two. Do you feel you accept changes better than your man or family? Okay, and the next one? And the next topic. The X Factor. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Number one. Do you find yourself still wondering about how he would react if you ran into his ex? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I know how I would react. <laughs> hey, I want to say, uh, I'm going to say how happy I am because Cam was back today. I had my buddy oh, back. Oh, wonderful. And he looks great. He's doing wonderful. So he I'm, just I'm, had a birthday, you know. Yes, he did. That big yes. Four, oh. Yeah, he's getting, Whoa. or three, nine, four, oh, I don't know. No. But anyway, he it? looks like he's 20 still. Yeah. We're going to take a short break. Catch us on the flip side of two. Did you like that there, Sandra? Catch flip us. side of two. I like that. It's just between us. A spontaneous, intuitive live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. And now back to Just Between Us. Welcome back, and we're ready to discuss our first two topics. You girls ready? Changes! Yep. Okay. Isn't there a song? Change, ch 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 change, change. And we can start singing. No, I know we no, can't. No, please. <laughs> no one of the FCC would probably. Sh Neither one of us can sing. This is true. And I've been on stage and I have proof. <laughs> Do you feel you accept changes better than your man or family? No, I think it depends on what it is. No. There's certain changes that. You know, you think, hey, come on, let's go with the flow. It's going to be fine. There's no problem, whatever. And then there's some that you just, you dig in like that stubborn mule and you don't want to. I've just done that and to the consternation to my husband is he wants to move back to North Carolina. And oh. we don't want him to. And I don't want to go back to North Carolina. I love the state. I love the people. And he's got family there. But it's hot, humid, hurricanes, and bugs. <laughs> Buggies. Mm. Well, let him fly back and stay a That's month at a time. Yeah, I know. That's what I told him. And I just, I don't like heat and humidity. I can take the mm -hmm. dry heat somewhat. Now, even that's beginning to bug me. But I've been back there. Do you know what it does to a naturally curly hair? Yeah. <laughs> no conditioner in the world it. can control you it. You land up, you look like a chia pet after an and hour. And you have to wear extra large, you have to wear extra white because my feet swell. I mean, it's great for your cuticles, but I mean, outside of that, and then hurricanes. No, really? I am. I, I can take, I'll take an earthquake any day over a hurricane because we don't have earthquake season. Right. That's right, and then you, you will get hurricanes. Hurricanes, yes. Mm -hmm. and have you ever been in one? No, Gary has. He's, Kathy, he's have you ever been in anything? Mm -hmm. You I have? have, yeah. Mm -mm. Are they the scariest people make them out to be? Actually, depends on the it category. depends on where you are. I mean, I was kind of a, uh, up against a rock wall, and I could hear it sound like a freight train. You know, oh, everybody says that. It really does. It I sounds like a train well. coming. I was yeah. about 13 years old. I lived in Tijuana, where I was born, and uh, the... The, the street was doing this. No, that's an earthquake. Yeah. We're talking about hurricanes. Oh, that's right. But no, I've I been understand. Through a, I've been through a hurricane, too. They also had one where everything, chairs and cars oh, and my. everything was, we had everything there in Tijuana in about 50 years ago. Wow. Really? I was about 13 uh, years old. Yeah, yeah, and then so tornadoes. And the tor earthquake. The tornadoes hit the, the south worst. too. The earthquake was the worst. Oh, earthquakes! earthquakes but I still can't. I'll still take oh, an earthquake. Oh, I don't know. I don't really? know. I went through Northridge, and uh, I could hear everything falling, I don't, I don't and I wanted anything. to roll over and go oh. back to sleep. And I could also, it's all replaceable, because I've been through so many earth since yeah. I was a baby. Tehachapi. Oh wow. And and uh, and it it just 
you know, and fortunately Gary pulled me out of the house as the dresser was falling on top of the on the bed. Wow. But uh, scary. we were scary. really our our the neighbors across the way, their house literally imploded. The walls just Do you like the way that this topic has gotten away from us? Oh, it's from the changes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do that a lot. Well, we, go, we go Let's on talk tangents. about that. Let's talk well, in about other that. words, I, can, I don't do change well if it's a major change. I do low changes. I can handle small things, but major... Well, let me ask you this. Did you learn that when Gary said move, when there's an earthquake, you move? Reluctantly. Yeah. Yeah, I moved. Yeah. <laughs> Martha and St. Kathy, what about changes for you? I love change. Do you? I really do. Really? Good for you. I do. I get really bored if it if everything is static. It's like okay, let's go Good for you. Do something different, new. Well, my yeah, yeah. If I get bored, I just rearrange where the dishes are, and not tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've been known to do I that. I tell you, I think I have been through the most dramatic change in my life when I got married to my husband Jose my ex-husband, and uh, he came home from work one day and he says, we're leaving tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're moving to Monterey, California. I was living in Mexico back then and across the border in Tijuana. And he said, we had just bought everything brand new in our house. We just had everything, you know. <laughs> and he says, I have an opportunity to help open a restaurant, so we're leaving tomorrow. And, he, and then he goes, if you want to stay, you can stay, you know, and I'll just send for you later. I said, uh-uh, for good or bad, honey, I'm going with you. Did you pack up your furniture? Nope. So everything? everything? Just, no. Just left it. It was overnight. He came home that oh night, and the next morning, the people that were flying us to San Jose, uh, they already had the reservations and everything for us to fly Wow. To, uh, San Jose, and they were going to pick us up from San Jose. I had nothing. But you're I, close. When it came to this country, you know. And look nothing. what you have now. So you just left everything. I just left everything. My mom took care of everything okay. for me. How just exciting. Everything. It, yeah. it was scary. Yeah, it, it is. Really but how exciting really in a way. Scary. I mm -hmm. didn't mind it when I was young. Mm -hmm. Changes and moving. Yeah, and changes you know, it's, right it's, now would be But now I'm for me. more... I don't want to leave my, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, more. You're used, you're comfortable. I'm comfortable yeah. and, and I'm, I feel secure yeah. and going into some And I think when different. we get, I think when we get older, that does happen. That, I'll, that's I'll sure. revise my, that I, 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 I agree with you, Sandy. You know, there's certain things that I don't want to give up. You know, being close to my family and, and there's sure. that type of thing. But as far as a day to day, if it's the same. That just sure, you drives want to change me it up. nuts. Oh yeah, that that root yeah. canal instead of not yeah, going yeah. to the dentist. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have <laughs> the X factor. Do you find yourself self still wondering about how he would react if you ran into his ex? No. No, no not at I'm, all. I'm five hundred some odd miles away, but you know, <laughs> I would say, "Hi, honey. You're so lucky. You don't have this man with you anymore." <laughs> I one time told told Gary that uh, that he says you just sound like his ex-wife. He said her name, and I says, well, maybe we're right. You're wrong. Yeah, that was a good answer. Yeah, if both of us agree, yeah, yeah there's something wrong here. Yeah. yeah, there's something wrong with this picture, Gary. Yeah, yeah. it's you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't nothing. have a, I don't have an ex. My husband and I've been married since we were 19 and 20. But you know, wow. uh, you're the second person I know that has done that. See, I think yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, well, I went back to my high school reunion, a class of 27. There's 15 of us left, and the one wow. the one wow. guy's wife walked in to us and said, "Okay, all you women that that had a crush on my husband, he's yours." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it no was. Love. Yeah, yeah, it's. Um, no hair, you need de <laughs> dent your cream, you need the tablets to clean the dentures, oh and God. watch what you cook because it could be really bad. And I, apply ice as, as often as I needed. I don't have an ex because I didn't get married till I was 38. I was very independent. Mm -hmm. But look what you got. This is true. Yes. But you dated. Yes, I did. I, d I dated, but he, Gary mm -hmm. was the first one to actually bought me dinner and didn't ask for money. But <laughs> I mean, so I didn't pick the best ones. You but, know. but you have to admit, she had a very famous person ask her out. Remember Leave It to Beaver? Yes. Yes. June asked her out. No. 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 <laughs> no. 
no, the guy that played Eddie Haskell, he was a cop. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Was, he was a motor cop, right? He was a motor cop. Oh, you said that sweet. Mm. Yeah. And you said no. <laughs> Kind of well, took yeah. a little minute to register. Yeah. June. I don't remember yeah. June. <laughs> no. All I remember about June is the stupid her pearl. pearl. Her pearl. <laughs> and she's house cleaning with pearls. Yeah, That's, it's I like it. And I asked mom, mom, why don't you, June, look at you, look at June Cleaver. <laughs> what the difference, you know? No, no. If I would have said that to my mother, she would have said, you know what? Don't push it. My mother was the type. I brought you in. I can take you out. Well, that was that's how my mother got like that during the teenage years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this woman. Yeah. No, seriously, she would bring out my life insurance policy and read it and look and see what clauses were in there. <laughs> <laughs> because Sandy. Oh, I was a terrible teenager. We Sandy. we we would oh, fight. We, 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 no, we, 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 we why, never got along. Why do we have this thing against our moms? Why because you know why? Because we're a lot like our mothers. Isn't that amazing? That's yeah, if you're, like, and you if you're like your part, if, the yeah. part that I don't like that's is gonna that. Be our, that's going to be our free-for-all. We're oh, going to talk okay, about yeah, how, cool. we, yeah, how cool. we... The mother we, syndrome. Oh, yeah. Freud. Let's get Freud in here now. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Junk. Hey, what the hell if he's going <laughs> to anyway, take the tab, let so him let him do it. the question again? Running into his ex. Running into his ex. That's okay, Cassie. how would you feel about running into... I mean, well, of course, you have children, but running into your ex. My ex, my children's father, uh, and my ex-husband that I was married to, are very, have a very comfortable relationship with John. We, have, we can have holidays together. We can go out. We have no problems. It's all in the family. No. It's, we're very, very, uh, yeah, we're very, when great. we go watch uh, Courtney yeah. play softball at the high school, my ex is always there. The kids' uh, father, grandfather is always there waiting for us. We sit together. We have, we have a great relationship now. My father was like that. He had two ex-wives, you know, and uh, his second ex-wife, uh, is we would visit her and her husband in Chicago, and I called her aunt. Yeah, I thought that's how all ex, all <laughs> former marriages were. Not till I became an adult did I realize there is not that way. Yeah, My dad had a very cordial. It was a mutual divorce. You know, he was probably fooling around on her, and she was probably fooling around on who well, she was fooling around on him. And so they was a, they were married for. 24 or 25 years. Oh, wow. wow. But it was, my dad was quite the ladies' man. I am sure I got siblings out there. Oh, <laughs> I know. I know I do. I know I do because I know them. Oh, do you? My I know. My dad was so good looking. Oh, my God. I had some pictures of my dad when he was younger. And oh, yeah. You know, oh, it was my, my dad. God, so yeah. handsome. He know? had me very late in life. Yeah, my, my dad was almost 60 when I was born. He had yeah. me late. Yeah, my mom was 16 when I was born. So we're like sisters. You know, you know yeah, together. that's right. Yeah. You know, yeah, my mom. Was like, mom. Well, yeah, my mom was in her 30s. So, yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah. You know, we have so to pick two new topics, okay. my dears. A free for all. Yes. And let's just pick that one. Being a good or bad sport. Okay. Oops. Wait. Six. Would you approach someone and discuss their being a bad sport <laughs> oh. behavior, or do you feel it's best to let it go and move on? All righty, and then we're going to come back. We're going to surprise you with our free-for-all, and uh, we want you to stay with us, and we'll be right back. Just Between Us, a spontaneous, intuitive, live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Welcome back, and we were talking about you your, birthday. The your birthday. No, <laughs> no, no. They don't have that many candles in the store. Being a good or bad sport, would you approach someone and discuss their being a bad sport behavior, or do you feel it's best to let it go and move on? Now look, hmm. some of those female athletes, they got a better mustache than my husband. <laughs> I would not mess with them for all the money in the world. You want to be a bad sport? I'm moving on. Well, do you know, if you're talking about adults, I'm talking about my grandkids. Mm -hmm. I have one granddaughter that just will not let it go. She's used to being, <laughs> like, the best. She oh, wants to her. be the best, and she has nothing to do with the ones that are not the best. 
isn't that amazing? And when she loses, she comes home and she just got a straight face. Nobody can make her laugh except me. Well, she's competitive, though. But that's, Very that's, a, good, that's a good But trait. I'm trying to teach her. It is and it isn't. I'm trying yeah. to teach her. She's got to be the happy medium. That, that sometimes, you know, I, t I tell her, you know how many times I have lost in my life? Not just in sports, honey in life yeah. but the more you fall the better you learn you take those experiences and you learn that you know that you don't want to do that again and do not make the mistakes mis well the you know same what? Mistakes. you can but fall when like it's a group it, yeah. you have to come with a group to be you know you know how black and blue i am for falling all the, the time well, is, she, is she a team player does she, yes, she interact does. with her yes, team yes she does even yes. the ones that aren't She's up to her standards home. yes yes Oh, okay. But when she comes home, it's she just doesn't want anybody telling her anything. She just wants to get How it out of her. How old is she right now? Uh, 14. Oh, God. Oh, that's just the age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God bless uh, you, have, my child. Have a, yeah. have a, a stockpile of holy water? Yeah, I was going to yes. say, get a bunch I of holy water. Because, water. because when she turns 16. She's a red-headed one. So you oh! <laughs> oh! So She's a you fire. might oh. imagine what that is like what's her birthday uh march 13th it's Mar what's so. march anybody know the astrology yeah, no, i don't know mm -hmm. because i know there's some I stubborn people and yeah. so Kath, yes would you tell somebody if they were a bad sport depends on who they were and what type of relationship if i can I outrun them i i, I <laughs> yeah <laughs> some of those bras but, I'm but, no no i mean just no, don't you mess know. around just no. It depends if the... Maybe an email. <laughs> <laughs> no, not an email. No, it, it depends on my relationship with them. If I feel I can, I can do Kathy, it, I can help them. Don't but, use the know. word depends around us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not that old, Susie. You've just been the, putting it on. You've been hitting below the belt. Been, you know, I've been putting them on, is right. You've been hitting below the belt there, Kath, with that depends there. Now, you, I would tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. At least I'm a good sport. <laughs> you are a good sport. If you weren't, I'm like, okay. Hey, Susie, what but happened see, here? But see, you would tell them. I know well, it you. it just depends. Yes. Yeah. I, if I felt that they would take it in a manner what, that would be positive, I'd tell them. If I thought, eh, there's no use. Yeah. Now, take it away from the players of a team sport and give it to the parents that are watching. Oh, my gosh. Oh, That's man. a whole different ballgame, isn't I it? I wouldn't touch yeah. some of those parents. Uh -uh. But well, that's what I said. Yeah. They, they scare the hell, heck out of me. Oh, I, 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 well, some of them still have the mustache better than my Well, well this is true, you know, <laughs> but I mean, some, the parents I are like more rabbit than the players. Oh, yeah. tell me. I go to yeah. the I go to Courtney's softball games uh, during the high school games and the, the traveling team that she's on. I got to tell you, some of those parents, they're ruthless. I mean, they bring out the worst in, in, in their children. Oh, I know. When you see some of those videos on YouTube of the parents storming the field it's awful. and the poor ref or something. Yeah. What was it? There was one where this somebody, was it a parent or somebody got upset and went and shot the referee oh at a gosh. soccer game and it killed him? And the problem wow. with that is what? It was in Mexico. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was in Mexico, I think, or something. It was, hey, it, don't mess around with Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it might have been a professional uh, yeah. sp a sport, but, uh, you know, the, I mean, these people get... They're not yelling goal. They're going, go, oh, 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 run as fast as you can. Yeah, get out. Yeah, yeah I, I think that if you, if, I think you have to set a good example, and I think that when you get our, our age, I think that nothing in life is worth being, getting all flustered. When and you're young, being a, it's, when you're young, yeah, you're, you don't know. Right. You know, when you're young, you don't know. Right. I remember going to the, uh, to the games with my kids. And I remember, you know, screaming, go, go, oh, go, yeah. you know, and do, you know, the bad, run fast. Well, the bad thing is it know. was the other team. But, you were <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, I, I don't think I ever, I ever was nasty to the other team or saying bad things. When I'm at home and I'm watching a video or something, I, I might yeah. say, like, you dumb this, or why did you do that? Or I lose my know. religion when I watch yes, sports at I home. Do when when I, I was do. a kid, <laughs> I played volleyball. Yes. Here I'm a fat little kid, but I had a great serve. I was strong, very powerful. You go, girl. 
And I, this is uh, Catholic school, so you know you had to be behave yourself. But it, it was hmm. about like seventh or eighth grade, Curry. I think. We were in our school. <laughs> yeah, I know, scary, huh? <laughs> uh, it was. I was a good girl. Yeah. Anyway, was. I was really was. dumb, was. but I was a good girl. Was. But I was. We were playing, you know, inner school. What is it? You know, it's not collegiate, but I mean intramurals. Inter intramurals. Thank you. Volleyball, and the other team didn't have cheerleaders and at that time I was a cheerleader because I didn't make the team for whatever dumb reason or whatever and so the, the, no there was no one cheering the other team on so we started cheering for them too. <laughs> oh wow. And we're doing both of them. Well, and sweet. You know because it's yeah. just a game. Yeah. At least that, that, mm. I never was a competitive uh, sports person. I can remember not really getting caught games. up. So no I was I was games. never a okay. Games. I didn't care. Just yeah. the I didn't care. Our first so bad. Our first free throw. Winning. <laughs> we're going to talk about, yeah. which we kind of accidentally fell into, yes. are, is are, are you like your mother? Oh my God. <laughs> Probably the most, the most of all my brothers and sisters I am, because I'm the oldest, you know, and I learned so much from my mother that now that I got older and I learned about all of the things that I didn't want to do, <laughs> I'm doing them. You know, it yeah. just... I hear myself and I say, oh, oh. my God, it's her. You know, it, it, oh, it, it, I, it's, I, and I, I look exactly like her, so that doesn't help either. Mm -hmm. But uh, Well, my kids let me know. You sound just like my grandma. Oh. <laughs> they know how to make me mad. Is your mother still alive? Oh, yes. I love her dearly. Is like, she watching? Like... Too bad we couldn't leave her in Cozumel when we got lost. <laughs> <laughs> I like Cozumel. She's not yeah, talking but <laughs> she left us because she got lost in Cozumel, okay? Oh, and I went out oh, very no, no. carefully, okay? <laughs> I, I used this tone of voice like, no, take me to your captain. <laughs> 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 to the other ship that was there. But anyway... Uh, my mother and I are very, you know, we just... How can I get lost on Cozumel's Island? Yeah, island. That's a little that's tiny. You can see it across. Oh, uh, honey. <laughs> now, you, you are like it's Martha like, and I. We bucked heads with our mothers. Oh, oh, yeah, I bet you you did you know, I can... I ran and hid. See? I know. what I, I, I play the flute, and I remember coming home and going upstairs mm. and playing the flute and working, you know, because otherwise... I'd be down there scrubbing floors or doing dishes uh, or whatever. But as uh, long as we were studying or we were practicing our music, there was no class. She left you no, alone. He, he left us alone. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I Not am mine. too much like yeah. I see. I see a lot of the bad traits my mother have coming out on me now. I see that. And oh. and and I, when I look at my hands, I go. <gasps> My mother, yes. huh? Yeah, it's yeah. my mother. I have her body shape and everything. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, just think if you look like your dad, it would be different. <laughs> oh, I would have great legs. <laughs> <laughs> and tall. <laughs> wow. That's great. Not a little short thing. There you go. You I'm see, turning but into the a thing hobbit. Is, but the thing is, is that, you know, we all think, no, I'm never going to be like my mother. And then as you get older... It's like sometimes I look at myself or I go by a mirror and I go, <gasps> I have, yes, I have a mother. lot of her personality you know. traits which I, I didn't look, like. I look yeah. just like my mother when she was my age. But there's times, of, there's parts of my mother that I emulate and I, I want to be like her. Absolutely. She was a very sharp, she still is, she's 93. She's just as, wow. yeah, she's just as sharp as hell. Yeah. wonderful. See, you're yeah. both blessed, you have your moms. Yeah. I went to a family, yeah. to a family funeral. The last one passed away, he was 90. 93 years old and when I was there some of the other old-timers were there and one of them came up to me and said Louisa how are you they call me oh. my mother's name was Louisa, oh. and they used the Italian Louisa everybody called her Louisa and I never corrected them I used to when I was younger but I don't anymore and because it, I look so much like my mother, yeah. and they don't realize uh -huh. that, you know, they're like 30 years older than I am, or oh. at least 25 years older than I am. Mm -hmm. So I just say, I'm fine, how are you doing, you know, and I, I go along with mm -hmm. it. But that's how scary it is when they, they call me by my yeah. mother's name. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. there's no, I have no family, basically. You know, right, your family's... The, uh, all in the Midwest. Right. And, um, but my mom, I lost my mom when I was only like 27. Wow. Young. 
Yeah, I lost my dad when I was 14, so I was wow, on my own really from 27 on, <laughs> and I didn't move back to Chicago, which ever, my aunts called, why aren't you moving to Chicago? I go, because I was born in California, and I have a job, a really good paying job, and why do I want to move someplace where it says the minus nine below yeah. in the wintertime? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have earthquakes. I go, oh, yes, yeah. but I don't have earthquakes every winter that says nine, <laughs> nine below. Yeah, you know, and lots so. of blowing snow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that oh. I never imagined that I was going to be so much like my mom as I got older. I didn't, th you yeah, know, cause I, I never imagined in my wildest dreams, and I don't mind looking like my mother, but what comes out of my mouth sometimes, mm -hmm. and then I go, oh! My mom used to say, you just wait, when you get my age, da da da, well now I'm her yes. age, because she died just before it. But did your mother used to say this, and I hate this, when I was your age, I had to... Oh, oh yeah! When I was your age, and you I know did what? that to my kids. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we Better yet, when now. you <laughs> asked your mom to drive you to school and you only live about two to three blocks oh, away, yeah. oh, when yeah. I was your, I had a whole bunch of the phone wires <laughs> as I walked oh, yeah. to school because the snowdrifts were all that I went through. And you know, I we don't over the Swiss it. Alps to make We it don't to believe it, but thing. it's true. Well, it I, really I am amazed. Is. Wisconsin even has. <laughs> glacier free from what she said. Like I think that's why I'm so bad. happy to be in the United we States. Do our life stage. Our last stage. We have a free for all, and what is the topic, dear? Being in the hot seat. Uh, <laughs> at number five. Well, that goes back to our little discussion when we were having in the commercial break. Yes. <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> do you allow your do you allow another person state their case with an open mind and give them the respect to speak their feelings? Oh yeah, right. Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, be, just pretend. We're gonna take a short break and unfortunately here we go again. We'll be right back. Just between us, a spontaneous, intuitive live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Susie from Volcano. I'm Sandy from Jackson. I'm Kathy. <laughs> and I'm Martha from my own in Jackson in the foothills. There you go. So Sandra? And anybody what? That you tell me. It's your hot talk. I mean, you're free for all. No, we're doing the question first. Oh, first oh, question. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. That's okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Do you allow another person person, it should be, never mind, I'll correct the English later. <laughs> Do you allow another person to state their case with an open mind and give them the respect to speak their feelings? Very hard to do, but Yeah, yes. you gotta bite your tongue. You know, yeah. you got to give the people the opportunity to state their case. Yeah, don't you, you feel know. that's only, if you want to state your case, don't yes. you feel that it's proper? That would be proper. Would you learn, afford them that? You have to is, learn to listen, it's, and it's not easy. No. It's, it's hard when then you want to state your case, Yes. and you can't. Yes. You know, because they don't allow you. That's really, that's, oh, yeah. that's difficult. Yeah, they don't let you break in or give mm -hmm. you, a, they don't take well, pause for a breath. It's like Absolutely. And being yeah. being just between us, we can say this, it being you have to do tit for tat, pardon the fun, but you do. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, if you're going to afford them the courtesy, then they should afford you the courtesy too. Whether you agree or disagree, I think that as you get older, there are some people out there that are not going to listen. They just want to state their case, and then they call you names because you don't believe in what they believe or whatever. Those type of people, they're not even worth talking to. But when you want to sit down and have a good conversation or a good, you know, um, even a good argument about something, using the word argument, uh, the debate. Uh, debate, there you go. Yeah. The, well, the best form of communication <laughs> is silence and let them speak their piece. And it's hard because, mm -hmm. it is it, hard. you know, I find it's really hard because I want to interject because mm -hmm. otherwise if I don't say it right then yeah. I forget. <laughs> well, and, and, that's, and that's one of which the things why that I, I do. Which is why which you know that in a debate, or when you're listening to people right. debate, they're constantly writing right. because yeah. they'll forget their, they'll you, forget they, there's their a point that they want to make it, mm -hmm. to, and they forget. And of course, see, I can't spell. So if I write, <laughs> I can't read what I wrote because I can't spell anymore. I really can't. I have my English, English and my... No, I've always been a bad speller. Ask any nun that taught me. <laughs> they will tell you I was a bad speller. So I have really bad handwriting. I'm going off topic. 
No, yeah. that's all right. But, but don't you? No, find, Sandy. But, but don't you find that it's sometimes it's it's difficult not to say. And I'm like you. I always I and that's one of my worst traits. Oh, yeah, I, I, break in. I I break in and I interject what I shouldn't at the wrong time. I should keep my mouth shut. But don't you find that sometime um, when you totally disagree, you're just sitting there and you just say, "Oh, hurry up and finish. I can't wait to rip you." Apart. <laughs> I feel like those <laughs> chihuahua puppies when they're yes. <laughs> You know, you, know, you know, when emotion starts in, yes. you feel yourself uh, in your arm and, and yeah. like, I can't believe you're saying that, or I yes. can't believe yes. you're thinking Usually that. Usually when I feel myself just, getting warm, Kathy, it's that depends. <laughs> oh, you know, well, I'm going to buy stock. Just for you. The awful <laughs> world wants to come out, but, but, you know, that, that three-letter word is oh. like, oh. But yeah, you know, you want to You're, you're, waiting, you're so always bad. waiting for the other yes. shoe to fall. Well, mm. I, it's 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 when you're talking to a young person, you know, college mm. age, you know, and they're, they're, so getting the, they're getting all the they're getting all this stuff from their their teachers, and I God bless them. I had a teacher. He was Mr. Ferraro, and he's one of the few teachers I actually remember and respected. And he says, if you go on to college, you question your professors. You either prove them right or you prove them wrong, but don't believe every word that comes out of their mouth. No, how, how wise. How wise. And this is back yeah. in the 60s, you know. Yeah. And how this wise was, was he? Yeah, and mm -hmm. he uh, later went on to be on the board of uh, school board in Los Angeles. But he, um, and so I don't, when I, you're talking to a young person who's in college and they're spouting all the stuff, I says, well, did you back up your teacher? Well, no, what my teacher told me has to be true. I go, Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. You know, and now with the internet, like everything you read on the internet has to be true. Yeah, because it's out there. You know, I mean. I love Google. If I have a question, I Google it. Well, yeah, Google but then, it, then I back it up with an old dictionary or, or old they, encyclopedia. Or then, well, see, I never went to college, so. So I did either. Yeah, I and, went and, and got a job. But yeah. you know, anytime I have a question or I don't know something, I go and I Google it, or I go into Snoops. Those two sites. You gotta watch speed. Snoops. Snoops is uh, or bias. Snopes. Is it Snoops? Snoops. Snoop, Snoop. It's, it's, it's bias. Really? You, there's uh, yeah. there's other places you could well, check. You when use I your check common sense. Actions, then you use your common, common sense. sense. Yeah. You know? A lot of times, what I'll do if somebody's saying something, and I says, "Is there where'd you read it?" Yeah. Okay. Then I'll go find the article mm -hmm. and I'll read and see how they yeah, interpret that, that it. The it's amazing how people can read. Same one article thing. and interprets two and entirely different things, different or hear the same yeah. thing entirely. You know, it's whatever you, your brain's picking up. Mm -hmm. And but you gotta let them speak it. But Absolutely. Well, I wish I was Sometimes quicker. Sometimes we don't have the chance. Sandy. This is true. <laughs> well, I don't, do you know, think when you talk to the television, they don't reply back to you? No, not at all. Okay, we're gonna move on now. I yes, know I break in all the time. Our second we thing. love you, Sandy. Thank you. <laughs> Sandy needs a pause button. Yes. <laughs> a mute oh, button, a mute. There you go. <laughs> How have roles in the media changed? Um, like, so, let's say in, in advertising and stuff. How have roles changed? Now, one role that, uh, I'm not going to use the word role, but one thing I do not like about advertising is that, and I think we discussed this before, um, they always make men look dumb. In many, in many of the commercials, they always make a man look dumb. Like the wife has to go out, she leaves the, the baby, the kids with them, she comes back, the kitchen's a disaster, the house is a disaster, the kid's a mess or whatever. You know what, that's really not. But that is a change. I that is a it, change. It is a very big, because it used to be they made the woman look dumb. I remember a commercial where they made, it was an Ethan Allen commercial, I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. where they made the woman look dumb, and I turned to my husband and said, I will never shop at Ethan Allen. Oh, wow. Really? Well, really? I said, what did they do? I can't even remember the commercial, but boy, I remember the effect. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get some, yeah. some things like that. Uh, it's like there's the, this is from a department store that advertises on, um, we, which we do not have in this county, because we don't build it here, but it starts with a T. And you can say it. I bet you could have an arrow shoot at it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah. they think Target. <laughs> but, but, but what they do is they have these kids dishing each other, saying that oh, yeah. your mama, because she's your mama. mama. Yeah, you your mama. mama. And yeah. all this stuff, and, mm -hmm. or, or they're rapping, and I hate it. 
I, I, I swear to God, rap is one of the wor musical forms. No wonder the aliens won't come down here. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. Did you see the rap today? But it, 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 Austin, these it's kids, okay. <laughs> Calm down, Austin. It's these I kids are dishing each other here. because their mother, you know, your mother put it on layaway. I mean, it's a good dish. They're yeah. d going, but it's dish it, and but I just don't I, like it. I, I, but, but see, that's the thing. That's how media is changing. It, it is, is changing. coming. They, they They're discuss, forgetting the people who have the pocketbook. They, Sorry. they discuss a lot of things that we would have never heard of. They talk about bodily functions. Mm -hmm. They talk oh. about different things. I mean, uh, personally, I don't like a lot of those ads. I don't mm -hmm. like the, the, the uh, Viagra type of ads or whatever, you know. I mean, they get into it and whatever. We know people have certain difficulties at times. Well, and, at times. And, 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 <laughs> and the thing is, is that, you know, you can, you can talk to a doctor about that. It's the same thing like with women have certain problems. You can Sorry. talk. I mean, they go as far as after four hours, if you still are in that state, <laughs> what would you do? Oh, the first thing I take is car keys and lock the door. You're not going anywhere. Well, no, the You're thing staying is, at home. Used to be I'm those, telling those, commercial, those commercials for women and male products. Yes. Okay. Used to be shown after nine or nine thirty right. p.m. because but of now, the children. No. No, you find it in the middle of the afternoon. I don't doing like it. Soap operas, which. I don't like it. It's not necessary. You know, I mean, it is. You know, I agree. You with know, you. one of the things that I really like about the media now is back then, you know, they never let older people be in the news. I mean, as soon as you turn certain oh. age, you were out of okay. the out of the picture. I got a thing for you. Have you seen the new Swifter commercial with the old oh, elderly? Oh, oh, that's, that. that's, that's my girlfriend's aunt. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're yeah. Hardy? Hardy? Is it Hardy? Yes, Hardy yeah. well, and, and, and actually she's related to the woman. Okay. Yeah. How adorable That's, are And they? I told her one, and she sent me the YouTube thing be, for the full commercial, which yeah. is runs about 15 minutes long, actually. And they're, oh, and they're, pe they're chopping it up and putting yeah. it in different uh, ways. And I said, God bless her. She gets up on a stool to dust. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> 93 yeah. years old. And anyway, I says, I says, Beth. I says they are going to be a sensation. They're Watch adorable. It. They've yeah. already been interviewed by Newsweek. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're they're a Beautiful. hit in New York because mm -hmm. this is where be. they live. But yeah. this is where I'm saying, you know, back in my days when I was younger, you never saw older people. Yeah, but what do they use older TV? people for now? You know, if you have. If you if you lose your urine, if you uh, have uh, the Viagra problems, uh, you know as they, long they as they're getting paid, who cares? Or you know? they they uh, still clean. They, they clean. They clean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I but like it. I but really, I like positive role models for people, the older people. You know, like mm -hmm. now you can turn the TV on and you can watch uh, women being pregnant and still mm -hmm. yes. giving the news out. Back then, mm -hmm. they never mm -hmm. thought about doing well, anything like that. Well, if you like really want to see something you know? different, don't look at the major markets, saying like news readers and stuff. You go into those rural areas, um, it, like when we I went across the United States and back, and we're in small towns and stuff, and we're picking up the l local feeds or something on television. They looked human. They didn't look plastic, mm -hmm. which was really nice, mm -hmm. you know. And, and it's like we were saying that in the media, when I watch a British TV show, because I watch a lot of BBC America, they're humans. They're not size twos. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't mm -hmm. have it's the... It's the real deal. It's the real deal. Yeah. British use real people yeah. as their actors and... I like BBC. Yeah, I, I like, I I like the way yeah. they do I hate these commercials. I hate the commercials of your cream face. And they put this really young woman. What well, doesn't have a line on her? Excuse me. <laughs> right. You know. We're going to take yeah. a short break. We're going to come back and hit you up with a hot topic. Just between us, a spontaneous, intuitive live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Back to Just Between Us. Welcome back, and we are going to be talking about our hot topic, which today is, ladies, what do you think about the situation in Egypt, and how do you think it's going to affect us? Sandy? There's two rules of thought in Egypt. Well, some camp wants us to get mightily involved in Egypt's affairs, which, it's Egypt. It's their country. Right. And I heard a very interesting discussion. I kind of agreed with this guy. He was a former military person yesterday on the news. Is it's time for that region to take care of their own problems. It's a problem that's dealing with, it's now overflowing out of Egypt's boundaries. Right. 
uh, you had this morning in Indonesia a big uh, protest going in Indonesia supporting the Muslim Brotherhood, mm -hmm. wanting solidarity with them and asking if they could come over to assist. This is going, two things could happen. If it heats up to the point where it's, it's getting too close or the border to Israel, I don't want Israel going in. We can only stop them from so long. But if they feel threatened and they have a lot of weaponry over there in Israel. It could start up a whole new war. Right, right. now, it's a civil war going on, in, and right. and I'm of the thought that Egypt should be able to hopefully create work their own problem. Well, we have but to. We have to be. So, what it, is the problem with with them? Why are they fighting? Uh, are they against? The What's happening is the Mus it's, it's regarding the Muslim Brotherhood versus everybody else. Right. Okay. Muslim Brotherhood is a very strict, they want to go back to the being the, the radical Muslim. The of, Sharia law. The, the, the all Sharia of that. law and all this stuff. Then you have a faction in India that the young, especially the young ones, the college age people. Now you got to remember in, in Egypt is they have horrendously high unemployment. Okay. 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 The young people want to be able to have lesser restrictions put on them. So who's been killing them? The government? I think this last time was the government killed a lot of supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood. It's been going back and forth. Because but wasn't this about Mubarak or whatever his name? It started yes, with Mubarak and then yeah. meant to the other guy and actually under Mubarak, who was the president that was thrown out of office mm -hmm. two years ago, a year and a half ago, whatever yeah. it is, okay, he kind of kept it stabilized, okay. The people, there was problems. You're talking about Mohammed Morsi. No, not Morsi. Mm -hmm. was the last one that just went yeah, out. Yeah, you're talking about Mubarak. Mubarak. Before Mubarak. That. Mubarak. Yeah. He kept it more or less stabilized, but he was more or less like a benevolent dictator in the yeah, sense yeah. that he had absolute power over the... Mm -hmm. But he kept it more or less, he kept the region stable, okay? Especially the relationship between Egypt and Israel, which is very probable because of the Suez Canal. Right. Because the Suez Canal runs through Egyptian territory. Right, okay. and this all, oh, all the Sinai is Egypt. Right, so Whoa. it all comes down to the fact that what we need to do, uh, we need to, and the president's doing the right thing. He's he's uh, trying to stay out, but we're involved. Okay, I mean we, we we're on both sides of the fence in the situation. Like Sandy said, we have to take into consider the Suez Canal. Everything revolves around oil in that country, and and Israel. And therefore, this is why we, uh, unfortunately, we have funded and we've sent uh, fighter planes, we've sent tanks, we have sent all of this over there. But they didn't want it to get into the, the, the radical um, part of it. fraction yeah. and, and, and to let them run rampant. And unfortunately, that's basically what's kind of happening right now. So they're in conflict in their own country. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to understand, the military is more or less pro-American over there. Right. Because most of all their military officers have been trained in the United States. Their fighter pilots have all been trained here in the United States. We have this big, big open program where Egypt sends us their people. We train them train and send, and send, send them, them back. back. Wow. So they're more or less pro-American. That's why we've been kind of citing and why we did not declare this a coup when the military took over because we want to keep supporting the military and by doing that we do it by funding. Right. Only because 140 if, billion dollars? Yes, I know. Yeah. But, but the and thing they is, get once a year. They the get thing in is, is that, that if we wow. do come out and declare that it's been a coup, then our, our uh, what is our laws, our so, uh, says uh, that we uh, by have Congress, yeah. because by Congress, of the treaties, we have to, correct. Th we should quit funding, okay? Yeah. So this mm -hmm. is why no. what, the, what the president's doing is that they're not calling it a coup, coup. Yeah. right now, but uh, you know, we're between a rock and a hard place because we, we, we want the young Egypt to come up, that we want them to have their freedom, that we, we want them to be successful because then that reflects also on us and it helps us in the long yeah, run. Yeah, see, what they want is what Iran was under the Shah. It right. was a Muslim country, but it had all the freedoms. Women had freedoms. Women didn't have to wear the veils. They didn't have to wear the burqas, whatever you want to no call those. No Sharia law. 
And, of course, you can't say... You, you know, how do you learn about all of this stuff, Sandy? Because, I mean, I just know a fraction of these things because I'm well, working it, so hard to well, maintain that, well, my business okay, that's that I don't thing. have the A lot time, of time when people you know, work, they just, don't have the opportunity right. to listen. Sandy and I are fortunate enough that we do have extra time where we can sit down and when I listen and, and just listen. to the news... You know, no, I you gotta you gotta go yeah. in you gotta go in depth and read about right. the region. You go back. We're gonna take a short break and come back and wrap it up oh, for you. Too bad. Yeah. And that, see, and that's just great. between us, a spontaneous, intuitive live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Two three four eight six six, or you can email us at bookme at tspntv.com. So I guess we won't be going to Egypt this year, huh? I can imagine their <laughs> tourist industry is being hit really. And I've always wanted to see well, you know, Kathleen Ball, uh, who hasn't been on the show for a while, a very interesting lady to, you, yeah, I think you've spoken to her. She knows a lot she knows, about She's been yes. in the Middle East and she yes. converses and talks to them every day. And uh, she and her husband have traveled over there many, many times. And she said a year and a half ago, this was going to be starting to to happen, so it'd be interesting to see to if Kathleen could come back and, 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 yes. and discuss was it, it. Was it Mubarak was elected? Yes. And then after his election, he threw out kind of the whole thing and became a dictator. No, that was, was that was the last guy. That was Morsi. Morsi. Oh, that was Morsi. Morsi was elected by a okay. uh, majority. I right. appreciate and then he, everything that you study so I can learn. But he was <laughs> part of the Muslim Brotherhood, and he said he, I he, he, right. he went on a moderate platform. Right. But then once he got in, he changed, he, things. He changed things and uh, started. Actually, typical politics, if you want to say that. I promise, I promise, I, I promise. promise. And when they get in, because of the the uh, temperament of everything around them, yeah. or they have a hidden agenda, it lands up coming out. So that's how that works. Anyway, thank you, my love. You're looking wonderful, as well, usual. thank you. Hey. And Martha, it was great to have you back again. Yeah. Martha, I'm older now. A pleasure to I'm have older you. now. I had thank a birthday you. last week. Yes, you did. Happy birthday. When did you get Cam my card? Being yes, I did. Thank Bless you Bless your heart. So I thought of you. Yes. you I don't know card? how you remember. No, cards. A card. C A. R.D. <laughs> Watch those commercials, Kathy. They got them for hearing aids for us. <laughs> but, yeah, I went camping. All of my girlfriends went up there. Oh, that, you know, I just love going I camping. It's great. just beautiful. No, just, it, camping is roughing it. Well, I, I think, this, I, I think this will be the last year yeah. that I do it, you know, on my being Camp. on my tent, you yes, know. Yeah. So, oh, oh, adios. I love you, Rachel. <laughs> Besitos. 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 Oh, my grandkids. There you go. Ciao. Ciao. What A else? Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> yeah, I got to run. I got to get to the courthouse. Yeah, Gary should be downstairs. What courthouse? I'm going to pick up the truck he just bought last night. What courthouse are you going to? I'm 